Hello everybody, Stuart from Riku here. One of the things that we often get asked with the single endpoint export for using your AI prompts outside of Riku is how you can use uh, Python or other languages to do this. Because we provide you with the curl request, it isn't always straightforward. But today I'm going to show you how you can get this code and use it within your own applications or processes very, very simply by using Postman. So just for a bit of a recap, let's look at how things are currently within Riku. So we have uh, our playground and if we hit the export code button, we get sent to documentation like this, which tells us all about the single endpoint export, how to get our prompt ID, how to structure the data and how we can understand the input fields required. Before we had a pop-up which would give you uh, the curl code or the Python code and we'll be bringing that back for the playground in the version 2 of Riku but we're not quite there with that yet. So for now with the live prompts what you'd have to do you'd go into my prompts or the community showcase you choose whichever prompt you wanted to use and you can copy the prompt ID you'll get a nice message at the top here which will say that it's been copied to the clipboard and then you'd be able to use that. But if you're not really well versed in creating the curl request yourself, or you're looking to create Python or other languages, it can be a little bit of an issue. So how do we solve that? Well, what I like to do is I like to build it out within Postman, and then Postman has something which lets you actually get the code snippet for various different languages. So let's have a look at how you can do that and let's just see how simple that really is to do. So this is Postman. You'll see that I've added the URL for the single endpoint. I have all of the fields needed within the body. If I'm having more than two inputs, then I'd put input three, input four, etc. And you'll see that we have this code snippet here so how do we get to that so we've built out this if we wanted to run this obviously i've hidden the name and the secret fields if we wanted to run run this and test that it works all we have to do is hit send and we should see the output generated response here but to get the code snippet it's very simple all we have to do is click here the code code snippets it's going to load up here and you'll see that it says curl by default. What we can do is if we want Python, we just come down and we can choose whether we want the HTTP client or we want the requests. Requests is more standardized, so we could hit request and you'll see that it's already restructured the data into something that you can use with Python. And if I wanted to copy this, I can just hit the copy snippet and I can paste that directly into my Python workflow. So it's very, very simple to get the information you need in a different language. You can also do this for Java, JavaScript, uh, Node.js, you know, a bunch of different technologies. So you can really use your AI prompts wherever you need them. And it's a lot simpler than you probably thought was possible. Um, so you know, this, this is what I like to do. It's, it's very, very simple. It's, it's an easy way for you to get the code snippet within the technology that you want to use if you're not well versed in that technology yourself. So you can just uh, formulate the uh, code snippet into Python, into Node.js, into JavaScript, into whatever you need, and then you can use it within your own processes. I hope this has been helpful. Um, like I said, we are going to be bring, bringing back the pop-up with the uh, export Python and curl request for the playground in the version 2 of Riku so you'll be able to do quick sort of exports on that but for now the process is save the prompt and then you can copy the prompt ID and you can use that where you need it so I hope that this has been helpful and if you want to learn all about building AI prompts and using this technology to the fullest why not sign up to Riku.ai today we have the largest selection of quality large language models in one place online anywhere. And we have a thriving community who really enjoy helping each other out and making the best of this technology. Thank you.